This is Not So Fast, a speedy competitive game for two players. It only takes a few minutes to play and it's relatively simple. If you've got additional sets of Not Dice, you can play with more players and it doesn't take any additional time. You are treasure hunters collecting pieces of Celtic artifacts and you want to find and complete more artifacts than your opponents. Um, each player starts with four dice and then you put four dice for each player into the center plus one. In this case, we've got one die out of the game because we've got a two-player game set up. So, in this game, you do not take turns. Instead, as soon as play begins, everyone starts acting at the same time. You pick up all of your dice, you take them, and you roll them, and then you can pick up as many as you want and re-roll them and try to put them together so that you are completing a design using all of your dice. This player might still keep picking up and re-roll the dice, but once one player has finished a design, they call out, not done, K-N-O-T, done. Everyone stops rolling, and you check that finished design. If this player did not correctly do it, let's say they had stuck something on like this, this is not a completed design, then uh, this player is going to need to pick up all of their dice and start over. However, if this player did successfully finish their design, then they take one additional die out of the center, and then everyone picks up all of their dice and starts over working on their design. Um, the objective is to end the game with more dice than your opponent. So as soon as the last die has been taken out of the center, that's the end of the game, and whoever has the most dice wins. Um, if you are playing with three or more players, uh, one variant that you can use is you can choose to keep rolling. So when one player finishes a design like this, and they've called out not done, and they're going to get an additional die, then the rest of the players can uh, keep working with the dice that they already have rather than having to start over entirely. And in addition, there's a way to sort of level the playing field between players of, of uh, more experience or more or less skill. And the more experienced player can start with an additional die at the beginning of the game. So let's say this player is more experienced than this player. They may start with one extra die and then we'll leave these dice out here. Um, and at the end of the game, once, uh, once the last die is taken from here, this player removes that before counting their score, which means that every turn they're gonna be trying to complete designs with one more die than their opponent. And that is not so fast.